Uh, no one needs okay. to be louder. No one All needs right, to be we're louder. Good. So we're good. Let's start. <laughs> Oops. Bullshit. You don't tell me when to start. <laughs> I'll fucking start. Wait, wait. I will start when I fucking want to. So, chat room. Hello and welcome to the Ritual Misery Podcast, episode beta 87 for Friday the 15th of July 2016. This is a show where two lifelong friends talk about geek stuff and whatever else the hell we want to. I'm Amos, and that guy right there who was trying to interrupt the intro, that's Kent. How you doing, man? Man, I'm I'm fucking good, but every time I start to say something that I think is relevant, you start the fucking show and you cut me off. I think that's a, a weapon. It's, you're, it's, you're... it's been beautiful last last several weeks, and eventually I'll get them published so people that don't, don't watch lives can watch it. <laughs> Oh, oh, hey man, man. A- it is not just us tonight. We actually have uh, we have some guests with us tonight. Yes, and I'm so excited. Why don't Why don't you introduce them? Me, this, uh, I, this is so great. Yes. Well, well so so he- here's the thing, Sonic the Brain Dog. Yeah, yeah, it, yeah. It, it doesn't actually mean anything to me. Like it's just like this 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 concept of of art that I've seen, but it happens to link up to this podcast. From a friend of mine from Korea. Okay. Yeah, yeah, and he's that's Jack. It's right there. He's right there. Wait, hold on, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Before, wait, hold on. Before we bring our guests on, I want to, I want to clarify this. Okay. Wait, 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 so wait, 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 wait. Here, they're, here. they're already on. They're right there. Oh well. What, what, all right, guys, don't say anything yet. Hold on, hold on. I want to clarify something, real quick. You said that when Sonic the Brain Dog, when that comes to your brain, it's this concept of art. Yeah, but does not conjure a podcast. What does no, it? No, conjure? no, 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 no. It, it conjures a podcast. It, like, huh? I, I don't, what, what? Oh, what? So, <laughs> so, it does pun. Okay, I understood you to say that it does not conjure a podcast, but it does conjure a concept of art. Yeah, and I assumed that it, that meant a higher form of art. Than podcast, what? and I was going to challenge you on what higher form of art is there than a podcast. Oh, there's lots, but it's cool. Oh. I don't well, take offense shit. to it. So, are, are we slumming by having a podcast? No, no, no. I'm, I'm raising you up to the level where you're actually part of a podcast. <laughs> um, our guests are slumming by joining us on our podcast. Yes, I'm perfectly okay, fine. <laughs> so, welcome, please, everyone, Jack. Flitton and Sean Mallory. Hi. Hi. Hey, hey Sonic the Brain Dog. <laughs> yeah, we're collectively Sonic the Brain Dog. <laughs> wow. That's a, that, that's, a, that's a stunning turn of events. Like, I would never have seen that coming. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <it's... laughs> Holy it shit. Jack and it Jack went is... as planned. That's what I thought we were doing. <laughs> right. So, Jack well, and Sean have a podcast called Sonic the Brain Dog. And I have to admit, I, I listened to the first episode, and I was just like, "Oh, what? Oh, wow! Who are who are these like uh, basement dwellers that decided to do a podcast like every other basement dweller?" Oh, uh, fine. I'll listen to the second episode, and it got better. And guess what? The third episode is better, and the and now they're ten episodes in, and I'm fucking hooked. I'm caught up, and I cannot wait to hear episode eleven. And I'm so excited that these fucking guys are on our show. These two dudes are funny as hell, guys. So Sonic- he, here's the here's the thing. Oh, that's a lot to live up to. Yeah, here's here's the thing. This will this will bring it back down a little bit. So I'm getting ready to leave Korea, and I stopped by the uh, the O Lounge Comedy Club just to say fa- my farewells and you know, and uh, see Jack and and have a beer and stuff like that. And, and then he's like, Oh yeah, hi, um, yeah, I, I started a podcast with a friend of mine. And I was like, wait, 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 wait. Wait, so, you have friends? Yeah, well, yeah. That, that, was, that was the, the important part. <laughs> <laughs> but then he tells, me, he, he tells me he actually has one. And here I am. I've been trying to get him back on Ritual Misery since New Year's. And uh, it's just never worked out. And then he just starts his own. Like, that's that, that's what I lead into. It's it's like, he's like, yeah, yeah fuck your podcast. I'm going to go start my own. <laughs> yes. Is that word for word? Um, I'm pretty sure that I might have been drunk. Yeah. It was like my second to last night there or something. So I might have been fairly intoxicated. So, that's so I remember it. One friend, according to Amos, Jack has one friend, and I guess his name is Sean. How are you, Sean? How am I? Well, uh, I'm still alive. 
So great, yeah. Well, <laughs> oh man! All right, so hey, all right. Tell our tell our listeners what what is Sonic the Brain Dog about? What it, what is Sonic the Brain Dog? Uh. But, See, they uh, don't even know. <laughs> no, we don't know. It's, it's, okay, it's like, so it's, it's I can tell art. you the the origin story. Uh, I was talking with a buddy of mine about like putting my brain into a robot, and he was like, "I'm gonna do the same thing." And I said, "No, you're too poor." And so he said, "Yeah, you're right. It's probably just gonna be a brain tied to a dog." And uh, <laughs> <Wow>. <laughs> That's where that came from. Originally, I was going to make this show uh, with, like, Dr. Robot Flit and Sonic the Brain Dog, but the title was long and awkward. It still is, really. (laughs) (laughs) For a while, it was Dr. Robot Flit and Sonic the Brain Dog. Uh But then we were just like, well, let's just shorten it. And then, like, our names got dropped, and then it just became what it is now. Got it. Yeah. Got it. Okay, so so uh, so Jack, you're basically just cut out of the title and completely like it doesn't matter anymore. Like you're just there. Yeah, yeah. We both I don't really. exist. <laughs> <laughs> Sean's taken all of the glory. Yeah, yeah. But and I just try. You're still the pretty one, Woo, right? I have gained two glory points. Oh, actually, yeah. All right, that's a, that's a good point. So I've heard all this, these rumors that 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 Jack is the pretty one. Can, yep. Do you care to address that? No, no. Wait, before I, uh, before you clarify that, I, I just want to ask. I want to add a little something to it. Is it like he's the pretty one? Like, oh, look at him. He's just the pretty one. Or is it like, oh, that was something really stupid you did, but you're pretty, so it's okay. <laughs> it's more the second one. Yeah, it's a lot more the second one. <laughs> he's, he's, at least you're getting by on your looks. <laughs> yeah, it's great. I don't, I don't have to think about things or worry. <laughs> so uh, just how he does his hair back. <laughs> he's you, thinking, you, oh, I don't know. <laughs> Sean, do you agree with that? Is he, is he the pretty one? Uh, between the two of us? Yeah, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> I am not an attractive person. <laughs> That's why we do a podcast, and uh, we've never done video before, so... Yeah. Yep. Until, until today. Yeah. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we we try to hide our faces as best as we yeah. can because I don't like people to see me and sh- I don't like people to see Sean either. Yeah. No, no, no <laughs> wait, wait. You are a stand-up comedian. <laughs> yeah, but that's different because if someone is at the show then like we can just hook up afterwards but on the internet then I just get weird messages <laughs> <laughs> that's an excellent distinction <laughs> you heard it here first stand up comedy is a new tinder yeah. <laughs> people say comedians don't get laid but that's true <laughs> <laughs> oh shit All right, um, so, so Kent uh, I, I actually have some ahead, pretty Amos. big news for this week yeah, I'm not in a hotel. I'm actually in my house. I'm in my studio. So, uh, so that's what Kent does. He just drops out of Skype. So we're just gonna keep the conversation going because fuck Kent. Um, so yeah, I finally moved into my new house up here in Alaska, and it's pretty big. It's big enough. Holy shit! Well, that's awkward. How you doing? Uh, the little, there, you go. there we go. What the hell happened? <laughs> right. Uh, we're back. Yeah. Yay. So, more editing to be done. Me. Yeah, this sounds like every episode of Sonic the Brain Dog. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just yeah. happy to stay true to form. <laughs> so we're unlucky on purpose. Yeah. <laughs> As I was saying, I'm actually in my house, in my studio. Uh, it's completely unfinished, of course. I got enough stuff in here to hopefully cancel out some of the echo of my voice. But, um, yeah, it's, it's, it's awesome. We finally moved in, and 
fairly soon, as in whenever I get my stuff from Korea, because Seattle likes to hold on to shit, I will actually be able to set it up full-fledged and have something to show off. Ooh. Hell yeah, man. That is so fucking awesome, dude. This is the, the first house that you have owned. Mm. You, you're, you're in your first house that belongs to you. That's pretty sweet. Yep. Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm pretty excited about it. It's pretty chill. And, wow. So, you know, all right. So, talking about weeks, right? Last week, we talked about Pokemon Go. Pokemon Go had just come out. Mm -hmm. uh, so, it's been a week now. Holy shit, dude. This is like an all-consuming life thing, Pokemon Go. Yeah, it's pretty good um, news. Now, Jack and Sean, Pokemon Go is not in Korea yet, is it? No, we no. have one place, though, where you can go. One city has it in Korea. <laughs> it's right at what? the border of North Korea. Um, yep. Like, right there. What so, the fuck? So the so North Koreans and the South Koreans can play together. And I don't know if you've ever heard this, but in the 70s, there was this big incident where the North Koreans came down across the border because uh, they they uh, they were mad that we were chopping down trees so they took our axes and they just chopped down our guys um, so it's a little dangerous because they might come down and do the same thing but like with Charizards yeah <laughs> <laughs> oh my god have uh, you guys gone up have you gone up there and uh, now is this hold on real quick is this in Pan, uh, Panmunjom I think so. Yeah. 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 So that's like the that's like the treaty town thing. Yeah. Before. With the little little houses. Yeah. Yep, uh, it's that's because of some weird glitch that it works there. But yeah, people have been making trips from uh, Seoul and stuff to go catch Pokemon there. What? Yeah, the buses are like sold out. Yep. What? <laughs> yep. Oh my god, man! All right, so all right, I I've got an idea though about this whole Pokemon thing. Like it. it this has taken the world by storm, particularly the United States, but the, the few select places around the world that, that is available as well. This is, it's persistent. Like, you cannot drive down the street anywhere in the United States and not see a gaggle of people staring at their phone catching Pokemon. That's now, awesome. I'm not making fun of them because I do it as well, but it's... It is so persistent. It is everybody. Yeah. Have you guys seen the Kingsman, the movie, the Kingsman? Uh, I've seen most of it. I saw the everything wrong with <laughs> YouTube video. You're such a it. negative person. <laughs> <laughs> you haven't seen the Kingsman. I'm about to spoil a plot point. Yeah, go for it. In that uh, movie, Samuel L. Jackson is the he is the villain. He's basically like your typical fucking comic book villain that does all this crazy shit to gain world domination, right? And he came up with this scheme to give free cell phones to everybody. And everybody, of course, said, hell yeah, I want this free cell phone. So they all got the cell phone, and it became this, this device that transmitted this like brain control thing that made everyone super aggressive and kill each other. Okay. That's Pokemon Go. There's a plot <laughs> behind this. I'm exposing the plot right now that everyone is getting this Pokemon Go app and it is going to turn out to be some kind of fucking massive mind control thing that whether it's a supervillain or a governmental power or something, something bad is going to happen because everyone's playing Pokemon Go. No. Yeah, but in the Pokemon world, Lose, you just black out and go to the hospital. Oh, see, now I like Jack's version better. <laughs> well, okay, okay. You, so you black out and go to the hospital, but what if every Pokemon Go player simultaneously blacks out and has to go to the hospital? Well, that would be impossible. No one can all lose at the same time. But you can if it's a super villain are you, are you behind the, it. Are you saying the Illuminati is is is? releasing Pokemon Go? I'm not naming names. Oh, Nitanic? Is is that... 
Illuminati? No, Nintendo. there's no L in Nintendo. Nintendo. Illumin Nintendo. Oh, no, yeah. That no. doesn't Mm-mm. work. Almost. But they got the Triforce, and that has a triangle, so that... Now, now oh. wasn't it just a couple of weeks ago that Nintendo sold their their uh, ownership to oh, a... The base- Mariners. Or the Mariners, right. Yeah. Coincidence? Mm. For what? I don't know. You're going to start making movies. <laughs> hey, wasn't it just yesterday I took a big shit coincidence? <laughs> Maybe. I don't know. Was it triangle shaped? It might if have it was. been. Was it was three triangles? It, it was really pyramid. You know, it's it pyramidical? Pyramidal? Per- yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was, it, was a, it was a pyramid. Oh. Sure. <laughs> All right, so you so you guys live in Korea, which is right. where Amos just came from. Yeah, about about, uh, about a month and a half ago. Yeah, so I mean, are you are you guys Koreans? Like uh, you were born there? Are you Koreans? No, Jack's yeah, a see? fucking you get there. Jack, Jack, he's not Korean. Like, don't let him fool you. He's not Korean. He, see, look, look, <laughs> he has South African all over him. He's a round guy. Jack is definitely a round eye. Uh, so what was it like growing up with Elon Musk? <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, yes. Moose? No. Oh, Anyways. I'm, I'm also not Korean, but I do believe that Dokdo is our land, so a little Korean. Yeah, fuck Japan. Yeah. Oh. Can we swear? Yeah. I probably should ask that. Oh, you fucking can't swear. Like, fucking... I, I fucking hate swearing so goddamn bad. Like, go to hell, anyone that fucking swears. Well, this is your show, so I want to follow your bullshit rules best right. I can. Okay, all right. <laughs> he, he, he still thinks we have rules. <laughs> yeah, you guys sent us, like, a, a novel of, like, stuff to remember about being a guest. Yeah. Look. Yeah, so whatever. <laughs> it's whatever. We'll edit out and post whatever we don't like. So if you say, like, if our favorite color is blue and you're like, you know, fuck blue, red's the greatest, we're just going to edit that out. Wait, so, wait, 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 yeah. wait, wait. Okay, first of all. Go Team Red. Pokemon Go. Let, let's get to the facts here, okay? It's not we're going to edit it out. It's Amos is going to not edit it out because fuck that. <laughs> <laughs> Because Amos is yeah. only two two episodes behind on releasing shit as it is, and he does not have time to be worrying about what fucking color panties Jack is wearing today. Because <laughs> uh, that's a quick answer. Pink polka dot. <laughs> None. <laughs> Jack stopped wearing panties when he uh, when he started growing his hair long. Uh, yeah, because. I don't like how it gets all knotted up in the panties. Yeah, oh, I mean, well, you were wearing oh. them on your head, which I'm I like. Not sure it, that's I like exactly it to flow free. Oh. Different hair, Jack. Different hair. Different I was hair. so hoping to see Jack in a skirt. Like after listening to to Sonic the Brain Dog, all the episodes, I was like, oh, I bet Jack is gonna wear a skirt, and he didn't wear a skirt. <laughs> so I'm a little bit disappointed. <laughs> Why would that? happened <laughs> i'm excited for the same have, have you listened to your own show <laughs> no i'm no. very drunk all the time <laughs> if, if you were conscious for the show it wouldn't be the show that it is <laughs> <laughs> oh man this is uh, so good so so there all right so you're in korea do you guys have afn receivers no huh Mm-mm. afn receivers what? pick up the military that's channel. free tv how do you guys uh, have AFN receivers because we have the internet, which has even better free TV. Yeah. I got Korean TV, so I can like watch. Yeah, people play video games. You can't do that on regular internet. Nobody's playing video games. Yeah, they on are. the it's internet, Twitch. except for Twitch, like this whole yeah. thing, Twitch. But you know, like, yeah, yeah but this is like top tier competitive shit. Well, that's <laughs> right, because you're in South Korea. So, so you guys probably get some amazing StarCraft games. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Amazing. That channel. Man, if you've seen... You haven't seen little blips happen in a small, tiny explosion on some sort of building or something until you've seen it on TV here. <laughs> Let me tell you, that shit is so exciting. <laughs> so they're just like, like you guys, Because you're in Korea, you guys have, like, the latest tech, right? Like, 
4K. You guys are probably like beyond 4K. You guys, you guys are probably like 16K televisions, right? Yeah, um, it's hard to keep up because it like updates every couple days or so. But mm. <laughs> uh, they are starting to roll out the 5G data network, and it's technically correct in the term of 5G. So yeah. Wow. Yep. Sean knows things about uh, how it electronic. Yeah. I know stuff about how electronics work. Right now we're on 4G LTE, which stands for the fourth generation long-term evolution. But, you know, that's nerd stuff. Whatever. Nobody gives a fuck. Like, why did you even say that? <laughs> I just <laughs> lost a little bit. The, the These best things part matter of that, to me. The best part of that is that 4G LTE thus far it has the in, long-term evolution, has the shortest like lifespan of any of them. Life expectancy, yeah. Yeah, true. because 5G is already, already being ratified and, and rolled out. It, LTE's only been but, here for like four but, years. Out, mm -hmm. we're going to have like 7G or some shit. So, when are, when are they going to stop using Gs? Right? I agree. Uh, agree. When, when we get to Ts for Terra generation. No. Ter no. What? <laughs> Terra I don't know how computers work. <laughs> no, you do not. <laughs> it's, it's wizard magic. It's wizard magic. That's all you need to know. Magic. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty. I don't have to care. <laughs> <laughs> I've got a man to explain it to me. Wow. <laughs> Just okay. call Sean and he fixes it. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Sean's nerdy enough. Call Sean. He'll fix it. <laughs> oh I man. Like to tell you how that has not happened, but. <laughs> <laughs> So, All right, so, so Jack, Jack, you yeah. work at the bar, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, so what, what's the number one selling beer at the bar you work at? Uh, oh. Yeah, what's the number Indica, one? Indica IPA. Real? No shit. Yeah. What about OB? OB or Height? Are those still pretty popular? Mm, not really. Cast Lights pretty much got the edge on shitty Korean beer. Oh, damn. So I was at Kunsan about... A th Shit, I think I left Kunsan like eight years ago or something like, like that. A decade ago, like... Everything was OB and height. Like, cast was yeah. a thing. Like, they were the um, up-and-coming player at the time. Yeah. But OB and height was like Bud and Miller. Like, they were the, the... They had the crown for the shittiest beers. Well, now, cast, or as I like to call it, Korean cores... Has taken that crown. <laughs> yep. Tap the Sorex. <laughs> Cast light. <laughs> oh my god. So when I when I was there, I I went on a, a brewery tour of the Height Brewery. Have you guys done? Have you guys done this? Like, have you guys gone on like a brewery tour or anything? And um, in I've done like some beer tours, but never to any sort of like factory or anything. Yeah, I've I, never been to a. Factory. And I don't really remember the ending of them. It's usually <laughs> just at bars. <laughs> By beer tours, he means he goes out drinking on Friday night. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's that's so funny because when I was there, because I, I was at, like I said, I was stationed at Kunsan for a year back in, uh, what was it, 07 to 08 is when I was there. Mm. And I got to go on a brewery tour. Oh, hey, there's Jack's kitty cat that I hear but never <laughs> see. Uh, <laughs> Jack's kitty anyway. cat. Oh, he's not wearing a skirt. It's wait, his cat. Wait, stop the show. Jack's cat has <laughs> arrived. Jack's pussy yeah. is on screen. For those of you not not watching the video version of this, you need to go look at Jack's pussy right now. Uh, it feels so soft. Oh, God. <laughs> Jack is rubbing his <laughs> right now. <laughs> so, anyway. Um, Welcome to Diamond Club TV, for those of you just joining us. This is... Uh, <laughs> The, uh, hardly a representative example of the quality t shows that you'll find on this channel. <laughs> to be honest, I was expecting this dive to happen a lot earlier. This <laughs> this happened way later than I thought it was going to. <laughs> we all so know anyway, what happened. It's just a matter of when. Mm -hmm. So the, the, back to the story I was telling. It's probably boring, but. No, 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 no. Anyways, we, we we diverged from that story for uh, for no reason at all. It was just completely organic. Oh, we just happened to start talking about Jack something else. We just started talking about Jack's pussy because Jack's pussy was on screen. So, how many times can I say Jack's pussy in the matter of a minute? 
Jack um, Pussy? I'm going to guess about uh, about 23. Yeah. So I'm done. Oh. Um, <laughs> so anyway, when I was in Korea, I went on a brewery tour of the Height Brewery. And it was super cool. I remember seeing uh, like where the beers are bottled and where everything's brewed and all this shit. And then I remember that we went into this tasting room where normally if you go to a tasting room, because I've been to probably like 10 different brewery tours, they offer you a beverage so that you can sample their their brew. Well, the Hype Brewery, they did it the wrong way. They said you have 15 minutes. What? <laughs> Whoa, that and, sounds awesome. <laughs> yeah, so me and my friends... I went with like four other friends. Me and my friends were like, 15 minutes, you say? <laughs> and it was a challenge. So we all ordered a pitcher. And they said, oh, a pitcher for all of you. And we're like, no, 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 no. No, a pitcher each. And they're like, oh, okay, okay. So pours a pitcher for each of us. And then we just start, instead of pouring it in a glass, we just use the pitcher as the glass. So we took it as a challenge to see how much we could drink in 15 minutes. And I think I got almost done with my second pitcher. And I don't remember the rest of the brewery tour. That's that's weak sauce. (laughs) Yeah, but I still don't remember the rest of the brewery tour. Right. I mean, just because you won in the game of life doesn't mean it's still not weak. (laughs) Well, weak or not, I don't know, but... I'm yeah, wondering no. if they have soju uh, tours now. I oh, imagine not because they don't minutes. want you to see the process of draining the souls of children. <laughs> <laughs> so Jackson also, like, the soju. floors are probably sticky. <laughs> <laughs> soju. 15 minutes, all the soju you can drink, go. <laughs> oh, my God. Soju definitely is some sort of a magical elixir. I don't know. Not That's... next to the hospital. They're actually the same building. <laughs> <laughs> I don't, it's, know, it's, I, don't, I don't know what you're talking about. I've got soju at the house now, and I've got more coming. Like it's 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 beautiful. It's amazing. I think oh, so. I'm drinking it now. I think soju is made from the tears of children in the Korean hospitals. <laughs> I, I yeah, they I, I love this shit. It's, they, it's they depressing. Pour, um, Every time I drink the, soju, I'm depressed after the fact. So that's probably why. <laughs> you might be doing it wrong. Probably, yeah. probably. Because every time I drink soju, I get really, really happy and have a good time. Yeah, well, see, I never, I probably do too, but I never remember those happy times. I just remember waking up depressed and wondering what the fuck happened last night. <laughs> that's what your girlfriend wakes up with every night. Oh, that's, that's. <laughs> I had to go there. I mean, <laughs> apparently she did too, so. You, maybe last week, I got. I was hanging out at the convenience store that I live next to, and uh, uh, it was, uh, some girls asked me to hang out and drink with them, so I was like, all right, cool. And then uh, I got real drunk on soju, and I guess some Palestinian guys came over, and then I almost got in a fight with them. But then one of them was, like, really nice and carried me home. <laughs> so uh, Soju takes you places that you never thought you would go. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, bringing the world together one <laughs> at a time. So, so like, what did you guys talk about in the morning? Like, what's Palestine like? Stuff like that? Huh? No. We... <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gay, Sean. Soju takes you places. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gay. Stop hoping. <laughs> um, yeah. I started in the Soju and ended up in San Francisco. I don't know what the fuck happened. Oh man, yeah. Um, it's a crazy drug. It is. It is. <laughs> it's a hell. Yeah, they got all these different flavors. Like I'm drinking grapefruit. Oh man, of all the flavors they could have picked, grapefruit. Where? Right. Grapefruit is really good as a soju flavor. Ah. It goes. To, it's as, like the as best as one. Soju, as a soju flavor, yes. No. Yes. Everything's yeah. good as a soju flavor, but but grapefruit juice like as its own thing. Mm. Ah, mm. No, that's not you. 
All right, so you know what? All right, let's let's move on to this. I've got. So I, I thought I thought Jack was fucking with his audio the entire time. He's actually throwing shit in the chat room. Chat room. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. I'm trying to. I like to engage with people. <laughs> with the listeners. The, one Plus of the this, listeners asked, "Wait, so is the pretty one gay?" <laughs> this sass, this sass science person <laughs> keeps making fun of me, <laughs> and I feel. Yeah, what you, wait, Jack, why do you assume that you're the pretty one? <clears throat> are, are you kidding? <laughs> <Hey>. <laughs> is that a real question? Have you seen me? Versus Sean, obviously. <laughs> All right, so you know what? I, I I came up with a quiz. I'm gonna pit Jack versus Sean, and the way that this is gonna work is I'm gonna ask one of you a question, and then we get the response, and then the other one. So so basically, let me let me lay out lay, let me lay it out like this. Uh, we, I'm gonna we, ask we can Jack, tell you practice this. Yeah, so I'm going to ask Jack a question. Jack is going to give his answer, and then Sean is required to either agree or dispute his answer. And then I am the final judge of the quiz. Well, I'm, I'm glad I'm here. So, so after that, I'm going to ask Sean a question. Sean is going to give his answer, and then it's up to Jack to dispute or <laughs> Jack just pulled oh. out his lightsaber. <laughs> I should have brought my lightsaber. <laughs> you doomed, Sean. Well, uh, I'd whip out my lightsaber, then we'd have to blur it. So. Hey, uh, light <laughs> is no joke there. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that so, was a joke about your PP size. <laughs> well played. And then Amos, okay, so after after the dispute between Jack and Sean occurs... Amos is going to give his input, and then the final judgment comes from me, who made the quiz. Wow, does that make sense? Okay, I think uh, we'll, I think we'll just play along, and you'll uh, you'll you'll correct us when we screw up. Right, or just go with it, one way or the other. Awesome. <laughs> Either way, this is probably going to be funny. All right, at least it's going to be funny to me, or I hope so. All right, so Jack. All right. The- <laughs> A lot of these I, think, I think it starts off odd when you're hoping it's going to be funny to you. Like this is, <laughs> you might be setting yourself up for failure and taking us liar along with you. <laughs> I think we're just all going to go down together. It's going to be glorious. Either way, it's going to be glorious. Ladies so my first. first question is for Jack. Which Sean? Did you just say ladies first? Yes, I did. Okay, so here we go. <laughs> Jack. What yeah. city do Superman and Spider-Man protect? Oh, yeah. What city do Superman and Spider-Man protect? America. Now, a, lot of, a lot of these questions came from things that I was inspired by on Sonic the Brain Dog podcast. Mm-hmm. So they both it, work at the newspaper company at New York. Is that your final answer? Yes. I've been there. <laughs> uh, Not Sean, to New York. Sean, <laughs> Sean, your response? Uh, while there is some fact in what he's saying, they do both work at newspaper company, um, and they do both protect America and freedom and everything above and beyond. Uh, Spider-Man is in New York, while uh, Superman is in Metropolis City as his home. Manhattan is in New York. Yeah, but it's not a city city. It's like a, a district. Yeah, of Columbia. <laughs> no. Uh, Amos, uh, your input. Well, I'm going to have to say that... Who are we talking about again? Oh, so Man, I'm going to have to say that Sean, while he's, he's, uh, he's very protective of his couch. Jack is protective of his pussy. So I'm going to go with uh, I'm going to go with uh, Montreal. Shit. All right. So you're There's no all... way Superman's a Habs fan. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So you're all wrong. The answer is Neo Tokyo. So anyway, moving on. Uh, Sean, the question for you. 
<laughs> is what is Ash Ketchum's real? Uh, I'm sorry. What is Ash Ketchum's mom's name? Oh shit! Hold on, I know this. Uh, it started with an L. It's like Laura, Lauren, something. Hmm. Lauren Ketchum, um, and she's actually the the daughter of a uh, Spider-Man. It's just one of those weird nerd facts that. <laughs> Okay. Is this real? All right. Yeah, totally Jack, real. Jack, what's your response to that? Is he right or uh, what's going on? Trick question. Ash catch some mom died in a fire. She still had a name. <laughs> <laughs> and that name was burned up with her. Amos, do you yeah. have do you have an interjection here? <clears throat> Uh, I'm gonna have to agree with Jack. Uh, once your driver's license burns in a fire, you fucking lose your name. You're just gonna have to deal with it. So I'm gonna go with uh, with uh, uh, come and catch him. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Catch yeah. Um, you're all wrong. The the correct answer is who fucking gives a fuck. Uh, Jack, <laughs> what is the Korean word for orgasm? Oh, I know this. Yeah, I've heard it once. Mm-hmm. <laughs> what is the Korean word for orgasm? I don't know. Why do Korean women you suddenly switch to English in bed? <laughs> <laughs> Shit. So, Let me get my dictionary. <laughs> so Jack Jack is studying the Korean language and he he there was some conversational Korean. And uh, I, I thought this was a word that you would know. Nope, you cannot. Yeah. Go- do not Google it. That's, that's against. The no, rules. I was typing at the chat again. Yeah, he's multitasking. <laughs> I'm, now me and SAS Science are cool. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, do you have an answer? Do you have what's your final answer, Jack? What What is the Korean word for orgasm? Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> and Sean, Sean, what is your response? Uh, the Korean word for orgasm is actually a Japanese word, and it's uh, kumpai. <laughs> oh, you broke Ken. <laughs> your your interjection. In- interjection. I, I don't. I don't understand. Sean got it right. That that's that. This is exactly <laughs> what it is. Because you can't understand the mm-hmm. goddamn thing they're saying anyway. I've seen the porn. Yep. All right. So the, the all right. The correct answer is. I'm uh, done. <laughs> so, Sean, Sean, what is the date? What is the date? Are there any dependent? answers that are right? <laughs> <laughs> this game is rigged. So, Sean, what is the date of Irish independence? So, Sean, Irish Sean in- has an Irish heritage, uh, and I expected what? him to know something about Irish history. So, what is the uh, the date of Irish independence. Let's see. I know of um, the IRA. I know of the Irish car bomb, both the drink and the explosive way of making a racist name for a drink. Um, but Irish independence was in 1776, the same day as the greatest country in the world. And that's my final answer. Jack, what do you think? Is he right? No. Mm. Obviously. <laughs> and Ireland was freed after that big potato famine freed them from their mortal coil. <laughs> Dude. Amos? Amos, what do you think? Uh, <laughs> uh, I think I free some Irishmen every time I drink a Guinness, which is uh, pretty often. That's uh, uh, pretty good stuff. <laughs> I, I, I like it a lot. <clears throat> so Amos is the closest one to be correct. The correct answer is whatever date they invented day drinking. Uh, so Jack, Jack, what is Canada's what is Canada's national motto? Uh, is Canada's national motto motto? Shit. What Canada's national uh, motto? Motto. <laughs> you're a you're a Hi. Canadian. How are you? <laughs> We're sorry. Hey. Uh, Sean? 
Uh, the Canadian national motto is "Sorry, boot that a." Ah, Amos, again, you're in. Again, again, Sean nailed it. I, I don't. I, that, I, the only thing I could. I, that, that's it. That's it. We've already talked about the Canadians and how awesome they are. So that's 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 a win right there. Right. Okay. So Sean gets point because the correct answer was "I'm sorry, a." Eh? Mm. Yeah, he actually um, expanded upon yeah. it. Sean, it, it all depends on the region in Canada where you're from. It changes a little bit. So, Sean, the test is bullshit. <laughs> Sean, <laughs> the next question, and the final question is yours. How many juicy drinks does it take to make it? Let me start over. Holy shit! Mm-hmm. I should start with less beers at the beginning of the show. You should, you should, you should practice. <laughs> so, less juicy drinks. So, eh, eh, rewind. Uh, Sean, the last question is yours, mm-hmm. and it is as follows. How many juicy drinks does it take to make a juicy girl juicy? Oh, um, I only have experience with one juicy girl, and that is uh, Jack. So it only takes one uh, for Jack, and that would be my final answer. Okay. Jack, your response? Bitch, please. (laughs) I don't need nobody no drinks. They come to me. Okay, and um, Amos, what is your reaction to to those answers? Well, I've I've got to say, I need some clarification. Now, when you say buying mm-hmm. a juicy drink for a juicy girl to become juicy, mm-hmm. define juicy as in like juicy, saucy, sautéed, like like is you know is she like ready to go or like just just sloppy? Uh, you you ever like talk to a girl and then she starts to like slide out of her chair, that uh, type of juicy. Ah, yeah. Okay, so that's that, the answer to that is zero because they're all, all them little juicy bitches are ready to go. Mm. Yeah. Hey, all <laughs> right. So you're all wrong. The the correct answer is as many juicy drinks as a juicy girl could drink if a juicy girl could drink juicy drinks. So. So the winner of this, if there in fact is a winner, would be Sean because Sean's the only person that got a point in this entire fucking thing. And, 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 One and point. The, the, the clear loser is our audience. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Boy, I, all of you lost. I'm oh, and going by, home. And by the way, if you play the game, if you play the game, you just lost. Oh. Yes. Oh. Oh. Thanks. Thanks, Dick. You, thanks. We're all losers in I'm God's so, eyes. I'm so tired of losing the game. That doesn't have eyes. <laughs> <laughs> At least you're uh, hoping you are, right? Yeah. I don't know enough about science to to argue with that fact, so I'll take it as true. We hung out one time. God's blind. Really? So I'm gonna I'm gonna run down a few things here because we took a little show notes, and and I gotta admit, there's some uh some interesting ideas here. I'm just gonna run down them kind of quickly. Um, apparently, Sean is mean. Oh yeah, and, and not just John's always telling me to do stuff. Yeah, yeah. He's like, like oh, did you upload the episode yet?" And I'm like, "No, Sean, I didn't. That's why you don't see it." <laughs> I try to be nice about it. Like, "Hey, I don't see that episode up yet. Uh, is there something wrong with my connection?" I try no, to be nice. I I yeah. didn't do it, Mister yeah. Taskmaster Sean. I'm so sorry. I'll get right back to work. I feel like he wants me chained up to the damn computer. <laughs> Who's to say he chain you up to other things, not the computer? Like the radiator. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, and the uh, computer's I, not as hot as the radiator. Hold on, that was like the the dickest way to ask that question. Like, mm-hmm. I don't I don't see it in my feed. Is there something wrong with my feed? Mm-hmm. <laughs> It's so loosely disguised as being nice it, when it's really like the yep. dickest way. Like, yep. hey, asshole, where the fuck is the episode? Is really what you were saying, and it's so transparent. It's, it's yep. That would have been nicer. Yeah. <laughs> me and Amos have done this to each other. Like, oh, really? Is there something wrong with my feed? No, <laughs> motherfucker. I haven't fucking done it yet. Like, it's, it's so transparent, and it's such a... No. Oh, my... I know... I know that you guys love each other, I, but it's such a god. Uh, I hate yeah. you for not doing the thing you were supposed to fucking do. I have a but special then he way. buys me stuff. So well, I yeah, guess there's that. 
it's a love hate relationship. <laughs> I, I have a special what? way. I, 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 when I, whenever I'm like wondering when Kent's gonna get the episode out, I always ask, "Do you need help with anything?" <laughs> yeah. As soon as I ask that, he's like, "No, motherfucker, I got it. I got it." And he starts actually working on it. Like he hasn't touched it yet. But as soon as I ask him if he needs help, that shit gets just miraculously done. Right. So. That's the thing. Like, I can do the episodes really fast, like in 10 minutes, but I don't even start on the shit until Amos is like, dude, it's been like two weeks, dude. Like, we're supposed to put an episode out every week. It's been two weeks. What the fuck is going on? Exactly. Like, well, dude, I have all these, and I, you know, I have to make up all these lies. Like, man, I got all these audio issues and then the software glitch and the shit crashed. And, like, meanwhile, while I'm saying all this shit, I'm, like, putting it together. Like, yep, here you go. Um, no, I, mean, I can only imagine that Amos does the same shit because it's been two weeks since an episode's come out and it's it's Amos's turn. So I imagine that right now I'm asking, hey, man, do you need some help with that episode? And his response is, my response is, hey, I can upload those sons of bitches to Dropbox and you can do it your own fucking self. <laughs> <laughs> So that's a slightly different response. <laughs> <laughs> that's an option. <laughs> All right. So, uh, so, 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 one of you guys mentioned that uh, that Korea doesn't have any dill pickles. Like, I didn't notice this when I was there. Yeah. Oh uh, yeah. All the stores are terrible, and they don't. My big dill is question... apparently not a word. They all have sweet pickles, and I hate them. Yeah, they're awful. <laughs> I wouldn't mind so much that they didn't add dill pickles if they didn't keep throwing sweet pickles at my face. If you order food and it's like American style or whatever, they just like give you a small cup of sweet pickles. And it's the taunting. It's the taunting that I hate. <laughs> we have pickles, just the, one, the ones you like. So, also, hey, you so want for, a plump for the, pickle? For the record, he doesn't mind pickles thrown at his face. No, he's good with that. Later, no, he's good with pickles. Later, in I'll face. throw a sweet pickle in your face if that's what you're into. I don't want. I want sour, <laughs> juicy pickles in my face, not <laughs> sweet, <laughs> shitty ones. Oh man. Uh, I just don't like the way it feels in my throat. So, uh, Sean, <laughs> what what sort of pickle do you provide? I provide the dill pickle. Um, it's always crisp, fresh, and. Uh, very flavorful. John's preference, or uh, yeah. Jack's Jack's preference is uh, what you provide. You you, yep. you you don't know it. It could be Sean's preference. I'm a pleaser. If I could have any pickle, it's gonna be this one. <laughs> <laughs> and it just I like the Jack likes as well. I like the the big ones. <laughs> yes, yes, yeah. I'm sure hey. you do. Um, you can barely fit it in you. Yeah, yeah. Right. right. What about those, those spears? Are great. What about the spears that are like really long and convenient, but then they're kind of floppy? Like, I don't. It's uh, just not as satisfying for yeah. me. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I, I, you know, I like to indulge sometimes, but we're not even hiding this behind any window anymore. Just say I penis. like. I <laughs> like say what? <laughs> Whoa! What do Whoa. you mean? <laughs> what, what, is, is that what we're you're talking, talking about? about? Pickles, Sean. That's like why? Why would you bring that? We're we're here talking about pickles. Why would you bring up penis? This is a well, nice see, clean I'll, topic. At the end of episode nine, I think it was. I was expecting a, a grand announcement. Uh, episode. Oh, no, yes. I say episode nine. I mean uh, Sonic the Brain Dog. I was expecting yeah. a grand announcement, um, but apparently, it's still ambiguous. Or yeah. It's mostly that Jack just wants to be uh, Samus. That was the, the big reason. Oh, like, got it. Got it. Okay. Um, How do I use the internet? I don't know. <laughs> um, <laughs> in my opinion, that's our best episode, and that was because Jack was uh, in the worst way ever. Of, of ever. <laughs> I was so I, fucked. Yep. Oh, wait. Promoted the corpse? No, no, that was it. You're talking about episode eight, Wizards are Ruining the Economy. Yeah. Wizards are ruining the economy. Our best episode. I, I've been binging on Sonic the Brain Dog the last three or four days, so forgive me if I have the right episode wrong. Uh, but I, all right, so I got a question for you, Jack. Are you a are you a Nicholas Cage fan? Uh, 
when I was younger, I used to hate him so much. But then I saw Face Off. <laughs> <laughs> and now I love him. I he I don't know why he spent all that time searching for stuff in that movie National Treasure because he's a national treasure. <laughs> all he needed was a mirror. <laughs> and the movie would have been over in seconds. And lemon juice. Lemon juice. Oh. Lemon juice. That hurts when it gets in your pee pee. <laughs> What? So, all right. So, what occasion? What occasion would bring that circumstance? What lemon juice in the pee pee, or Nicolas Cage finally finding a mirror? Both, both. <laughs> but let's start. Let's start with the lemonade. Oh man. Oh, well, you know when you're showering and you're cooking. Oh well, look. We know the places in Korea are small, but I'm sure you you don't have to shower in your kitchen. <laughs> No, it's in the best. It's for efficiency, because I don't want to. Because like when I'm waiting for the conditioner to work, I want to get like some <laughs> stuff done. So I like peel up potatoes or whatever. Squirt some lemons <laughs> on your on your junk. <laughs> well, twice it was an accident. <laughs> it was an accident I tried really time. hard not to. Now, <laughs> but now I like I kind of turn so that it it reduces the risk. Oh, so it's on the side, so it's okay. Not right. I want to point out that I'm so straight. I don't know what conditioner does. <laughs> it makes your hair nice. Oh, okay. <laughs> Jack is he's so, he's so straight. <laughs> says the pickle provider. Yeah, it's yeah. not gay. It's not gay in the. He's free the world. one, dude. <laughs> it's not gay. Not me. <laughs> oh, you heard it here first. It's not gay to give. Uh, apparently, it's only mm-hmm. gay to receive. I don't understand. Are you guys questioning my sexuality? <laughs> not even a little bit. We no. know your sexuality. Oh. <laughs> not questioning at all. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> so anyway. Uh, so Nicolas Cage, how about those Ghost Rider movies? Like, those are pretty awesome, right? Um, hmm. I think Nicolas Cage is uh, about the worst it, actor it, to ever fucking walk the face of the earth. However, he's been in some decent movies. Just saying it. Just yeah. trying to answer for myself. It just Oh so like, I Ghost, never... like Ghost Rider and Ghost Rider too, right? Like that's yeah. what you're talking I... about, right? Those movies are misleading because not one time does he ride a ghost. <laughs> <laughs> it's a motorcycle the whole time. <laughs> you're, like, ghost... you're like, oh maybe it's like that Bruce Willis movie where it turns out that guy is Bruce Willis. But <laughs> it's not. It's like, it's oh easy. no, it's just a motorcycle. I took it completely the wrong way. I actually thought he was going to be writing books under someone else's name or under an assumed name. And that shit didn't happen either. Yeah, yeah that movie is just a pile of lies. <laughs> <laughs> Garbage. Start, starting with the four star rating it had on the cover. Yeah. Oh, my Whoa, God. Four stars? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's the Sorry, best. Like, All right, never out mind. Of, I got it. Out of 100? Is it four star? <laughs> Like, what's it out of? Like, because that matters. That matters. What was when what was the movie's best? so bad that you have to brag that somebody gave it a four out of five? You're like, look at that. Someone <laughs> yeah. was moderately okay with it. <laughs> yeah. Like, one guy out of out of 1,600 reviewers, one guy gave it four stars. Like, check that <laughs> shit out. Yeah. Look the, at that guy. The janitor that only caught half the movie. You know? <laughs> it was the guys that made it its mom. Yeah, and even she was like, I'm, giving, I'm only giving it four stars because he looks so cute. <laughs> here's five dollars. Yeah. Buy yourself a juice. Make sure you get some popcorn with that. You buy me juice? You buy me juice? <laughs> I buy you juice. I buy anyone juice. I'm generous. <laughs> <laughs> so at the at the bar that you work at, Jack, uh, you work at the bar, right? Yeah. Yeah, like so. I know that you do comedy. Do you also like? Are you, are you a bartender? Are you a bar back? Like, what do you do at the bar? I I like bring people drinks. Are you yeah. a juice girl? Well, no, but Sean keeps buying me shots. <laughs> right, and then he's well. like, "What's Basically. your bar fine?" And then I'm like, "I can't go home with you, Sean. I'm sorry." And he's like, "That's okay." And then he bought me like some stuff, and. <laughs> I guess he bought me like a ping pong paddle because he wants to take me playing ping pong. Yeah, these are all and... true stories. <laughs> okay. Ah, I'm like, Sean, I don't, I'm not. So what's your interested. bar fine then, Jack? 
It's like 20 bucks or something. <laughs> That's the cheapest bar fight I've ever heard. <laughs> Okay, okay, I think. Oh, we heard ourselves. Uh oh. Hanyang, <laughs> Haseo, <laughs> and hello from Korea. Uh, Are we in yet? Still waiting on uh, uh, That's still what she's. Or wait, no. That's not what she. That, that's what she's told you. <laughs> yeah. So Skype is taking a shit so, on us twice tonight. This is amazing. Yeah, so my video is frozen because I'm looking at my video and it looks like I'm trying to do a Jack Nicholson impression. Oh, um, we, we see you with the circle around your face. Interesting. Yeah, I don't know. What the fuck? I'm going to kill my video and then restart it. I bet that'll but be I can effective. I can see, I can see, he, see and hear there you go. guys. There we go. So, yeah, we see there you are. Go. You're alive. All right, so... We were talking about um, Jack being a juicy girl, I think. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, he's not denying it at all. He's just like, oh, yeah. I'm a juicy girl. I asked, I asked Jack, I asked Jack what, what is your bar find, Jack? Like 20 bucks. Mm-hmm. It? Yeah. <laughs> Shit. You want to go home with me? <laughs> be, it'd be you going home with me. Well, okay, whatever, but, but like, uh, <laughs> 20 bucks? Shit. Yeah, I don't like working, so okay. it's um, cool. 20 bucks? <laughs> Shit. Like, I, I would have to consider that. I've never understood bar yeah. fines. I, I, I just, like, I, I don't, so I'm going I'm to pay a bunch of money so you, you don't have to work anymore, like. Yeah, so, I, Sean, Sean, you haven't said anything for a minute. Explain to the audience what a bar fine is. Okay, um, so a bar fine is, um, well, in Korea, there's a really popular bar girl called a juicy girl, and she'll go up to you and say, buy me shot, buy me juice, buy me drink, and they're super expensive. Basically, it's a shot of soju that's worth 10 cents, and they'll charge you $10 for it, and if you want to take said girl home for whatever reason, um, you pay what's called a bar fine. Usually, they run about $200-ish. Um, Korea has actually changed a lot in the past couple of years. Uh, you can't do the bar fine in most places anymore. Um, juicy girls are pretty much illegal as well. Well, not illegal. They're just not, they're frowned upon by yeah. the Air Force. So in Air Force towns, like, there's no juicies because they'll put you on the banned list, which kills your business. Yep. But, uh, like, near Camp Humphreys, they still got a lot of juicy girls. Yes, they there. do. Sorry, I forgot about Humphreys. Yeah, Humphreys has a lot of juicies. Are, are juicy girls? Are they prostitutes? No, and and from what I understand, like if you pay a bar fine, you have you run the risk of them like being like, okay, let's go, and they go outside with you, and then they're like, I'm gonna call my boyfriend. Bye. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so so paying a bar fine is just like basically freeing them for the night, like freeing up their right. skin. You bought out their uh, like their tonight's time. wage, basically. Yeah, you, yeah. Bought, you bought the waitress to come and hang out with you. Like their expected earnings or something. Got it. Okay. okay. Got it. All right. Now I understand it. It's, it's just, it, it blows me away. And it was such a big change between the first time I was in Korea and the second time. And uh, the first time I was there, it was such an annoyance. Like you go into a bar and then they'd, all, all the juicy girls would try to talk to you and try to get you to buy the drinks and everything else. And it was just like, fuck, leave me alone. And then the second time I, I was in Korea, I'd, I'd go to a bar and like nobody would talk to me, and I was like, "Oh, it's because you got older, uglier." Okay, first of all, <laughs> I haven't gotten any uglier. Like I've always uh, been the same ugly. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you don't. You don't have the the Jack prettiness. No, I mean, look at his his flowing locks, and and you know, that's just below the waist. I mean, you should see his the hair sheepish and smile. Legs. <laughs> I'm feeling mildly uncomfortable. <laughs> That's how we like you to be. We like them to be uncomfortable. It puts I got some pills if you want me to take them. <laughs> oh, take it now. Right now. 
So the weekend experience is for the duration of the show. So I don't know what the pills are that you're talking about, but take them so that we can watch it unfold. <laughs> oh, uh, uh, Sean, so uh, Jack is gone. Sean wins. Take- Sean wins. <laughs> yeah, I guess. I'm not uh, sure if this is the type reassure- of winning I want, but okay. Reassure us that these are not illegal pills that he is about to take. He actually has a packet of pills. Oh, shit. Yeah. <laughs> Please be Viagra because I want to see this take place on whoa, air. Whoa, whoa, whoa. We already had a conversation about pickles. Oh, that's right. Okay, so scratch that. Let's move on. Um, what the hell? <laughs> <laughs> are those, those are vitamins, right? That's a vitamin pack. Um, like medicine? Like vitamin what? Like what? What? What is that? Vitamin D. <laughs> but, oh, th- like in the, like as in the D, like you just mm-hmm. took the D. Is that what you would say? You would you would you say that you just took the D? It tastes kind of like old grass. Like <laughs> like old marijuana. No, like you know when you cut grass and then it's just there and because you're lazy and then it starts to stink. It tastes like that. No, oh, you should mow your lawn improperly more often. That's that. <laughs> that, that doesn't sound appealing at all. I, I have to say, <laughs> it's got a new house. You'll soon discover. Yeah, but it's in Alaska, so oh, you right. don't mow oh, lawns yeah, there. You, lawns. you, you my plow. Big, you plow. Uh, it's, yeah, my my, my my lawn is actually like three feet high right now. So, oh, <laughs> you need to get on that plow mower. It's pretty awesome. Lawn plower. <laughs> It's, you it's, need to plow, plow, mow, blow your lawn. Or a Zamboni. You need a Zamboni. <laughs> Zamboni your lawn right now. Three feet. That's unacceptable. You need to go Zamboni your lawn right now. Oh, jeez. <laughs> I'm, I'm not sure I'd get the result you're thinking of yet. <laughs> so Alaska is basically Canada. And if you don't yeah. have an ice rink in your backyard, that's just fucking un-Canadian. <laughs> Because you've been to Canada and you've been to Alaska so often that you know these things, right? Right. Uh, yeah, I've been to Alaska and Canada the same number of times. Yeah? And and how many cumulative times is that? It's so many. <laughs> <laughs> as, as the resident Canadian... <laughs> I'd like to speak on our behalf. <laughs> yes, Jack. You're a resident of Canada. What? You're not a resident of Canada. I'm a resident of wherever I'm at, and okay. I'm Canadian, so okay. I'm the resident Canadian. Fuck you, Sean. <laughs> Fuck you. Um, sorry about that. My partner gets a little uppity sometimes. Yeah, and Jack is from Canada. So He's from Canada. What's the, what's the Canadian stance on ice rinks in the yard? Have them. What's the, what's the Canadian <laughs> <laughs> What's the Canadian uh, uh, stance on having ice rinks and smoking marijuana in your backyard? Have them. Well, you didn't hear the first time. Do it. <laughs> <laughs> and, this is, and this is why. Can, and this is why Canada is like my second favorite country. Whoa. <laughs> What's the Canadian stance on saying, "Ooh, I'm sorry, eh?" Like you have such a bad Canadian accent, Kent. Like That's it's the worst. Goddamn right to do it. I'm wanting to know what Jack stances on me saying that kind of shit. So, one time when I was trying to get on the base, I handed the person there like my ID so they could scan it. And after I handed it to them, they dropped it, and it took all of my power to not say sorry like it physically hurt so that canadian saying sorry thing that's a real thing and it's you said so hard. like that's like the american americanization of sorry it's like you practice it like no sorry the, sorry comes from like the really far east coast i'm from the west coast um but one thing that I do have to practice, I still can't like really get it. I have to. Like, it's p- pasta is the hard one for me. In- instead of pasta, did you all say pasta? Yeah, we just say pasta. It's pasta. I don't. Pasta? What the <laughs> hell is a pasta? 
It's a pasta. It's P A S T A. We're not in Italy, you jackasses. <laughs> Just say the damn word as it's spelled. Fuck, man. What the uh, shit? Uh, uh, we have pasta here in America. Fuck you. It's spaghetti. <laughs> spaghetti. <laughs> okay. Oh, uh, uh, my my spaghetti pasta is getting cold, so I have to go eat that soon. I guess we uh, growing up, my family always said wash. <gasps> like go your wash, suit. go wash your hands. Yes, and I was like, and use a washcloth when you yeah. wash your hands. Yep. Yes, yep. gonna go wash the truck. Like what? Uh, so I I said that until I was in first grade, uh, and I mentioned it one time. Like I'm gonna go wash my hands. And my mom's friend started laughing, and she made the comment, like, what the hell is wash? Like, where, where's the R? <laughs> Spell wash. Spell the word wash. W-A-S-H. Where's the R? Why are you saying wash? And that day, it was like the first time I made a decision that affected the rest of my life. That day, I stopped saying it. Yep, yep, yep. I had a similar experience. My most, ex- my most embarrassing experience, though, I was in fourth grade, and... We had a vocabulary word because every Friday we'd have a or no, I'm sorry. Every Monday we had a uh, new vocabulary list that was going to be tested on Friday. Right. So the new vocabulary list came out on a Monday. And what the basically what the teacher did was went through the class and said, you have to pronounce this word and then define it. It's like, OK, cool. I got the word T.O.B. It, fuck it. I don't know how to spell it. But anyway, so he said. What's this word? What's, what's your word? And I said, it's toboggan. And it's a hat. Huh? What? No. Toboggan. Hat? No. Yeah. So all I had, I had 20 other kids fucking instantly fucking die laughing. Like, look at this guy. Point at this guy and fucking laugh at him. Look at the dummy. Ha, 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 ha. And meanwhile, the teacher's like, yeah, that's the right face. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> my family, my entire family. You know a sock hat, like the fucking hat that you fucking put on your head in the winter time a to toque? Make your ears warm. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> too. You Canadian weirdo. I don't know what you call them in the Great White North, north of the fucking wall. I don't know what you call that shit. But in Indiana, in the world that I grew up in, it was called a fucking toboggan and you fucking put it on your head and it fucking warmed your ears it was knitted out of fucking wool and you fucking you anyway it was called a fucking toboggan and my mom and my grandma are not wrong and i can see oh why ohio is the state with the most eight. astronauts oh my class <laughs> <laughs> oh my class and my teacher fucking made me feel like an asshole because the word they were looking for was toboggan and it's a sled and I said it's a toboggan and it's a hat and I was right and they're just fucking assholes and they were trolling me. No. So, stick with that. Wow. You're wrong. Like, or, and, like, there's some regression going on right there. Like some fucking what? grabbing the knees and rocking back and forth and mumbling weird shit to invisible people. Like, are you okay? <laughs> no, I'm good. I'm good because obviously they were wrong about what they're saying. So... We're all good, so we're moving on away from <laughs> Tobog. What was the word that you used, Jack? What was it? For what? Toque. For for a toboggan. Tobog- a toboggan is it called a toboggan, John? Yeah, yeah, That's yeah. the word that I use for okay. that. <laughs> what was it? You said a took a toboggan. A toboggan's a for sled. hat. Yeah, for hat. Uh, the hat. It's a sled. First, is the toboggan is a sled. Yes. Can and I'm sorry, but you they were right to laugh at you. You should feel bad. <laughs> <laughs> two uh, the hat that you're thinking of it's like wool or something and it's like just like it covers your head and it's got the yeah. stuff on the top sometimes the poofball yes, That's yes. Called a, it's called a toque alright toque sounds like a racist term for a Canadian no that's <laughs> Canuck <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's Canuck fucking, you fucking toque Wait. you fucking Canuck toque yeah, wait, Canuck is a racist term for Canadian? Kind of. It's like the equivalent of Yankee. Oh, all right. Yeah, like it's sort of racist, but not really. 
I, yeah, and we named a team after it. I don't think that's a real word. I think he I, made that up to try and make us all say Took. Well, no, but that no, Jack. Jack actually fucking hit on something. Canadians made a hockey team called the Canucks, and America, America made a, team, team. a baseball team called the Yankees. Mm-hmm. Like a semi-racist term turned into a sports team. It works well, out. A football team called the Redskins, and yeah. <laughs> Because so, the football has red skin. So what is the basketball team called the... Um, uh, the uh, uh, so anyway, so the next the next topic we're going to talk about... <laughs> what the uh, hell was that? <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, I just got uncomfortable all of a sudden. So... Uh, uh, He's not Paul Blart Mall Cop. He doesn't need a segue. <laughs> <laughs> Nice. How do you know that? Because <laughs> that's my Shit, favorite how do I know that? way to say that. <laughs> Paul Blart's a great movie. <laughs> wow. If Paul Blart's a great movie, Ghost Rider is the greatest superhero movie ever made. Ghost Rider Amen. is a superhero? Wow. Amen to all of the things that everyone has said. I'm just going to stand over here and you guys continue the show. I will interject as I... <laughs> <laughs> Whose show is this? <laughs> I don't know. We're still trying it's to read ours now. <laughs> ritual misery prepared to be ritual mutinied. <laughs> that kind of happens every time we have a guest, though. So, <laughs> Jack- <coughs> Jackie Hearn totally Late. tried to make a mutiny on the show like a month ago. <laughs> yeah. It's- this just this just this just how this just how ritual misery works. Um, so uh, so like I don't even know where to go from that because I had like three thoughts in my head. They all just collided and just I think they fell out my ass. I'm not sure what happened there. It it just like <laughs> the thought train is dead. So there's that. <laughs> and Netflix sucks. That's right. Netflix sucks. Wait, no, not Ooh. Netflix. Skype. Skype sucks. Oh, Skype sucks. Yeah, I was yeah. Say see, that. there we go. Yeah, well, I don't no. know why they made all those oh. Terminators, but <laughs> That's Skynet. 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 Not Skynet. Which is basically Pokemon Go now. <laughs> what? To bring Look, that back. Why are you hating on, you hating is... on my Pokemon Go? I oh no! Got, don't. I actually got an email from like like public don't... affairs on base saying that. Playing Pokemon Go could be a, could compromise national security. Oh man! Yes. Yeah. Well, when you got dumbasses <laughs> jumping fences because, oh look, there's a fucking chameleon over this fucking fence, the fence that says deadly force is authorized, and you scale the fucking fence <laughs> to go catch the chameleon or what did I say? Is that what I said? Yeah, it, that. No, that's not a Pokemon. <laughs> then whatever. <laughs> Fuck! I, I'm gonna go. <laughs> I'm gonna go catch secret super rare Pokemon at the Area 51. Yes. So if you jump over the fence of Area 51 to catch Mewtwo, which I'm pretty sure that's where Mewtwo is gonna be. Mewtwo. Then yeah. uh, you absolutely broke the law, and you no. know better, and you're in trouble. That's ridiculous. Don't, don't you understand, Kent? Pokemon. I pay taxes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> not, not in Nevada, you don't. <laughs> well, yeah, because they don't have state taxes. Uh, oh, nice. Yeah. You're showing us your phone because it's my it's Pokemon. So you had about five seconds to look at my Pokemans. If you don't, if you didn't see it, then you can go back and look at the archive of the video yeah, and see also, my. He says. He says Pokemon like my my grandmother does. Those Pokemans. Paul. It was my, it was my strongest Pokemans. Mm. Well, oh, I caught I caught the actual Pokemon the other day, like two days ago. I caught the the actual Pokemon. You know the yellow one, the yellow one that's on all the like advertisements and stuff. That, Pikachu. That's, Pikachu. that's racist. They're called Asians. <laughs> 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 I, I I don't know why you got to be so judgmental, Jack. 
<laughs> I'm just I'm not. I'm just saying that it's racist. I wanted him to know. See, here, 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 it's an informative piece. <laughs> yeah. Oh, look at that. Well, oh, everyone's yeah. doing it. Yeah. I want to show you my phone. <laughs> Hold on, I got one. I got one. So, but Pokemon is it is the yellow one though, right? The yellow one with like the red circles, like uh, that's Pikachu. That's Pikachu. And that's my phone. At, uh, I, that's an alien spaceship. Uh, I saw. Yeah. Space- are you are you, are you trying play- to Tinder while like while podcasting? Is that what's going on right now? It's yeah, gr- I get, he's trying I get to get distracted. Are you Jack, are you Grinder or Tinder or both? <laughs> you know, I just like to meet people. <laughs> so both. So both. I, got, okay. I just want to make friends. <laughs> understood. Understood. Oh jeez. All right. Uh, so so uh, so if people have enjoyed this uh, this amazing conversation we've had tonight. Oh, what is this? Oh uh, yeah, it, how- there's a beautiful white screen on your phone there. That's awesome, Sean. Sorry, that's how well Pokemon Go is working in Korea. I have one my starter Pokemon, and that's it. Uh, I can't get any. Well, what is anymore. it? Charmander, obviously. Why isn't it a snake? <laughs> <laughs> because there isn't a starter Pokemon that's a snake. We, we've already it is, we've already talked about pickles. God. Yeah, we already talked about huh? pickles. I don't understand. You shouldn't eat snakes. No, no snakes. Is that is that snake me is. Is that something you've learned from experience? Eating too many snakes? Do you not do you not like the way they feel down your throat either? I don't know. Wow. If you like what snakes are too long to eat. What the hell are you applying, Amos? Like what? That snakes taste good? Is that what you're um I don't know what do you like do you like snakes in your mouth? What? Who? <laughs> I don't, what, what's, look, it doesn't matter to me how many snakes you can put in your mouth. It just you know, it's, it's your thing. You do you do you. Three. <laughs> <laughs> Definitive answer three. All right, gentlemen. Uh, so you have a podcast, Sound of the Rain Dog, and people can find it in all the normal places, right? So, uh, so give us a, a little, uh, little taste of, of what we might listen to if we uh, if we tune in to Sound of the Rain Dog. Well, this is my voice, and you'll probably hear that. And then. This is my voice. Uh, unfortunately, you will probably hear that. Well, but you won't it. see us because ours is a podcast podcast. We yeah. didn't even rehearse that, and it worked <laughs> out. <laughs> it was fucking amazing. That is a sign of a Class A podcast, and I highly recommend everyone to go to iTunes or wherever the fuck you get your podcast and look up Sonic the Brain Dog. Me and Ken, and we, uh, we, we practice all the time in... in, in- it shows. It no, it doesn't work. Um, it, so yeah, we, uh, we don't spontaneous is best. Um, so are you guys like? Are you guys on social media? Can we find you on Twitter, perhaps? I don't know. Maybe. Yes. Yeah, we're on the social medias. Uh, we have a Twitter account, Sonic Brain Dog. We dropped the "the" for some weird reason. Because uh, it was too big. Oh, that's right. It wouldn't that, fit. That's what she said. <clears throat> yeah, if yeah. it's too big, then you know you need to. Like look for something smaller, and if it's right. Sonic Brain Dog, if that's what your size is, yeah. that's what you uh, go with. Yeah, so. you just gotta sometimes you know shrink it a little bit, and then it goes right in. Got it. Got it. So, so at Sonic Brain Dog, if you want to follow yeah. Jack and Sean on so- social media, and for no- and yeah. for more news on pickles. <laughs> sometimes I put stuff on. I don't know why, but I'm in charge of it. But I don't know how to use Twitter. So, <laughs> um, so hashtag mean Sean. That's where it comes from. Whenever I try to correct his bad Twitter, I just like I type stuff in there, and I don't know what I'm doing. Yep. Um, so, like I, for I, example, I, I wouldn't know how to find us on there, but yeah, you might be able to. <laughs> <laughs> excellent, excellent. Uh, oh, hashtag it, still in beta. Yeah, you can find this show at Ritual Misery. Amos, if we wanted to find you, you would be found at Ethan Kane. Because fuck it, I like different names. Yeah, because you got like seventeen different fucking names depending on the context. It, it, well, look, you, can find, you can find me at rm underscore del noche on the Twitter, or if you're a beer guy like me, you can go to readbeer dot com and look up username del noche. And you can see my five hundred plus beer reviews. 
And I'm looking at Amos right now with his Alaskan Amber, and I'm so jealous. But I'm not super jealous because I've got my favorite beer, Sierra Nevada Pale Ale. Oh, we have uh, that here, too. Uh, yeah, uh, New Mexico sucks for beer. <laughs> so earlier today, I sent Kent a picture of the of the shop at of the plethora of single purchase beers of just single bottle purchase beers that we had, and then I didn't even show like the, what's available like in the case and in the six pack and things like that. Just what was available in single bottles, and it took up like the entire the the whole picture. It was it's amazing. I hadn't even bothered looking until today, and it was it's great. So, uh, yeah, and a lot of those are, are Alaska native beers. See, I'm yeah. just now getting it because the, the they showed up as tap to download. And you're too lazy to tap? I got you. I'm looking at them now. No, I was at work, and I could not get to excuses, my phone. Excuses, excuses. I'm but really yes, glad you didn't your, selec- your selection is a million times more than uh, what's available to me. Yeah. Uh, I, I don't, You're at Elmendorf, right? Uh, yes. Well, I, I live in like an, uh, about 45 minutes north of there, but yeah. So I'm going to pre- pirate parties. Amos, for my look, own... Look out for pirate parties? Yeah. Oh, my God. So they have a pro-rape group here. What? Oh, good. Yeah. What? Yeah, pro-rape. As Finally, in- someone fighting for the issues. <laughs> 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 so, so essentially, it goes like this. Um the 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 local populace and i don't want to say it's just locals because I, I don't know but there is a a trend going around in this this subculture where if you if you if you come into my property and break the law i am as owner of the property and the subject of your law breaking i am then allowed or, or that i should be allowed to rape you as compensation for you violating my land. Oh, what? That makes sense. That's oh, what's going to happen to Sean after the show. Ah, oh, good lord. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, he, that's he why I wish it was back or... in America where we have guns. <laughs> so, Sean, but we Sean violated your sovereignty by entering your home. Yeah. So you were therefore authorized by rule uh, of law to rape him. Exactly, you know, because it's, it's my house, my rules. <laughs> right, right. I don't know See, what's so hard about that. That's how yeah, I do it in my house, too. About that. Usually I'm a dog, okay? I'll tell you what else is hard about that. <laughs> 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 All right, yeah, so yeah, you, you know, can... I get the whole rule of, you know, this is my house, whatever, but, but uh, uh, you know, authorization to rape, like, what? what, what? Like, where is this okay? Uh, Other than uh, like, my house. <laughs> in in Jack's house apparently. Yeah. Man. So yeah, that's that's a thing. That's 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 actually that's, a thing. Well he's threatened me with that and I haven't left, which really scares me more than anything. <laughs> Cause you want it, Sean. It's like that Robin Thick song. Mm, yeah, blurred, blurred lines. lines. Yeah. I know you want it. Mm-hmm. So essentially, Sonic the Brain Dog is just uh, uh, one really big rapping around Jack just trying to rape Sean. No, sometimes uh, Sean tries to rape me. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that, I mean, yeah. The the raping's part of it. Um, yeah, but it's but not the thing. It's that's tradition. Not the whole thing. Yeah. I mean, that's of course. I mean, that's an essential part of it. The the yeah. attempted rapes, uh, but there's so much more to it. There's there's comedy, there's jokes, there's there's Jack getting pissed off at Sean for not mm-hmm. understanding what he's trying to say. There's Sean getting pissed off at Jack for not making it any fucking sense. There's mm-hmm. so much good content on Sonic the Brain Dog that I highly, highly recommend to all of you to check it out. Give it a shot. Maybe not episode one, but anything past <laughs> it, like check not it. episode one. That's fair. Yeah, yeah <laughs> that's very fair. No, but it's, it's pretty good. There, there are 10 episodes in at this point. It gets better as it goes, and it's actually, it, it is so good. If you start from episode one, and you go all the way through episode 10, and if you tell me that you don't have any affection for Jack and Sean, then fuck off. I don't want to be friends with you anymore. Aww. So, wow. get out. You guys are sweet. Well, he, he's, he's dedicating his entire friendlyhood 
to your show. Like that's, <laughs> you know, that, yeah, that's, well, that's, that's I, seemingly important. I can tell you, after twenty something years of being his friend, it's not as important as it sounds. <laughs> well, you may think that it's all fun and games, and they that's all nice and good. But now that puts a lot of pressure on us because mm-hmm. now we have to like not suck, yeah, so much. So time. So at eleven, better fucking deliver, because I'm I'm caught up now, and I will fucking hear that shit as soon as you publish it. So it better fucking be. I will decent. hear you. And yeah. I will We're like you. Game of Thrones. We're not gonna do another ten episodes for a year. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Oh shit. So all right. Whatever so, you liked about last ten episodes, we're gonna kill it. Everything. Yeah, Sean's gonna be dead. Yep. <laughs> Probably because of a heart related injury. Hey, don't give that away. Because Jack said that, the twist is that Sean's not actually dead. He, he's, yeah, he's, right. uh, he's he's <laughs> Lord Stoneheart. Chained what? to a radiator. <laughs> Chained Ooh. to a radiator. <laughs> Just dragging it, dragging yeah. it along in a zombie form with it chained to a radiator. I like it. Uh, yeah. So, uh, Head up his arm. so for more conversation, so yeah, if you want to, with amazing guests such as Jack and Sean, or you know, people with actual talent, um, you can email us at uh, podcastoritualmisery.com. <laughs> you can stop by our <laughs> subreddit, ritualmisery.reddit.com. Uh, you can follow the show on Twitter at ritual misery, and uh, of course, you can find all these ways and more. Ways to support the show at RitualMisery.com. You can call and leave us a voicemail. That'd be awesome. 567-69-TRMPC. That's 567-698-7672. I'm going to hit the podcast outro music now so I don't forget. And uh, thank you so much to Kevin McLeod for allowing us to use that outro music. For Jack, for Sean, for Kent, for me, and for you, this has been your Ritual Misery Podcast. <laughs> See ya. so disturbing when you do that. Diamond Club hopes you have enjoyed this program. <laughs>